The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria has berated Amnesty International over what it considered damning reports against Nigeria for biased reasons. Addressing newsmen in Abuja, the coordinator of the group, Emmanuel Omubiku, said they are convinced beyond reasonable doubt that the aim of Amnesty International is to destroy and blackmail Nigeria through its reports to unban some culture alien to the African belief system. The practices are same-sex relationships, abortion, among others, considered legal in Western countries. Amnesty International has advertised that they are going to campaign vigorously for the institutionalization of same-sex marriage. The second one is about abortion. These things are things that hit at the core of our cultural value system, which the Constitution frowns strongly against. So if you have a body that already has an agenda to achieve, they can just do anything to blackmail the country to either uh, follow what they want, to do what they want, or they just make sure that everybody is kept very uncomfortable. It's a very powerful organization. Nobody is doubting that. But our alarm, we are alarmed by their advertised objectives. The group posits that African leaders need not to be reminded that Africa is unique and would only accept values that would promote the good of the black continent, saying no matter how same-sex relation and abortion lifestyle is fortified by fabricated laws, there is no moral or ethical justification for the same-sex and abortion struggle. Muriwa also commended the Nigerian army rating it above 70% in the area of respect to human rights just as it called for the constitution of the governing board of National Human Rights Commission in line with the amended enabling act. We are going to send a report to the International Criminal Court to ask them to discountenance any sort of report that has been uttered by Amnesty International because those reports are completely, totally biased. We are not saying they are completely, totally false. What we are saying is that they are the, the motive for writing such report, as has been shown by the advertised objectives of an Amnesty International, is, can be faulted. It shows that there is an agenda. There is an agenda. Although there remain so many challenges that ought to be drastically addressed before accolades can pour into the Nigerian army as a national institution, that fundamentally respect human rights. However, Huriwa says that if it must be fair and objective, Lieutenant General Buratai deserves to be commended. Uluwa Tobiye reporting for Viable TV.